What's up, y'all? Just wanted to talk a little bit uh, about this video before you watch it. Um, my car was not totally finished tuning. Like in the first clip, you'll see I have the access port plugged in. Um, I had to do a log there that morning. Then he sent me a revision, sent me another revision, and then the car was kind of acting funny. So I switched back to another revision that had, you know, telling you guys about the hesitation the car's been ha having. And, um, I don't know, because it was just acting funny, which I should in turn, I should have just stayed with the newer one he gave me, because that's what I'm on now, still, and it's great. I don't know what, there was something weird going on. Well, it's because, that's why, because I was shifting in the higher RPMs, that 7,500-ish range. When I would shift, it would, like, bog, and it did that once, and I was like, F this, because I did, just got to the meet, so I went back to the old tune, and then... And it was doing it on the old tune as well, but way worse. So I should have just stuck with what I have. This here, I don't know if it was altitude related or what, but or maybe because of boost. And I did get an overboost code at one point. It was spiking 40 psi, and I don't have a five bar sensor on it yet. I ordered it. Also ordered the AMS intercooler, and I waiting on the Blaze intake for their uh, filter revision to come through, and I'm, that intake will be here. But um, car's almost like dialed in. It's so very close, but the, that intercooler got to be swapped out. Anyway, just want to let you guys know that is in the racing part of the, of the video. You'll see when I shift, if you, well, there's a couple of clips with the GoPro there. Like it'll drop down like 14 PSI and it'll just like kind of hesitate. If I would have stuck with the tune I'm on now, I wouldn't have done that. And I, I would have a much better run with that RS3. This Battleship RS3, these guys like famous on Instagram. Really wish I could have got a better run in with him. And after those runs, I pulled over to the side of the highway to let all the cars go through so I could find more cars to race. And my radar was going crazy, so I held back. I didn't want to catch up to him too quickly. And I lost them. And I put in the GPS of where I thought we were meeting, and it took me to a gas station with the 85 instead of the meat spot. By then, it was like so late, and I wasn't about to catch back up with him. So that's why I didn't have too many races that night, but the car did great otherwise, and uh, very, very happy. Just wait till you guys see uh, the newer video with the new shop depth shifter and stuff. It is, it is great. It is so great. Anyway, enjoy the video. Drop a thumbs up for me. Enjoy. Yo, what up, homies and homettes? It is Saturday morning, April 3rd, I think. Uh, we are in Austin, Texas. Got here about four something in the morning. Uh, not really much parking here, so we're out here in the grass at this hotel. About to pull it up, unload the car. We were gonna wash it, but uh, clearly it's not wash worthy at the moment. It's supposed to warm up later. This will be real nice tomorrow, so uh, I guess we're just gonna unload the trailer, throw some of our shit in the car. Uh, I need to get a log somewhere, somehow for Ed at sea level here, but and that's neither here nor there. I need to get that done. We're starving. Haven't ate yet. See what this day brings. We're all going to meet up at like 4.30. Go see some places. Get uh, pictures taken, food, and all that. And then Mexico tonight. Can run tomorrow. And then uh, like a seven-hour drive back home again. So <laughs> I'm trying to set the camera somewhere. Get a time lapse. And we'll go from there. We in the whip. Hanging out in Texas. Man, oh, I didn't show you guys. I put the new steering wheel in. Shit's nice. Really like it. The color like matches the uh, stitching there real good. Loving it. I'm about to go get some food. I need to check tire pressures and stuff. Try and get a log on the way there. It's wet as hell. I'm scared this thing will hit boost on the highway and start spinning. Uh, these tires, I don't know how they really react in the rain. I never really gave it power in the wet with these RE71Rs, but. So we're gonna find out today boys let's go so we're here like the first kind of meetup spot at the hotel i didn't get the book here because I, I waited too damn long ah, maybe like 12 13 cars here we're heading up to oasis get some curvy roads take some pictures and stuff should be a good old time excuse the uh the monitor radar going off all crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying to get this thing to spool up for y'all here in the parking garage. A little bit of traffic though. I don't have a number. 
little bit something. Apparently there's like a, a whole type R meet going on up here. So we're gonna go uh, instigate that. That'll be interesting. Maybe we'll be able to see the lake from up here. If you guys ever been to Austin, you guys gotta come to Oasis up here on Lake Travis. It's gorgeous, especially at sunset. It's, it's beautiful. Hope you guys liked the races last night. Didn't have all that many, but uh, definitely got to play around with the car a bit. I learned that if I go up to like 74, 7500 and shift, the car like like bogs, and that's why like half those races I lost. I think I honestly think I would have been at least not super gapped by that RS3 had that not happened. The least, the one pull that we got that was like a good start um, would have been really nice. That Subaru was super fast. He was brake boosting like hell. Um, yeah, and then I popped the EPC light for that. What was it? I have a screenshot of it. It's uh, like an EVAP purge thing. I think it's because of the uh, check valve we put on there for the catch can. It, it popped in EPCs for that, so whatever. Um, had a good night. Car didn't blow up. About to head to the canyons, making another video. What's up, guys? So I'm sitting here in the back of my Jeep. There's like 50 dudes out here. I just got the car unloaded. We're in like Carryville, Texas, I think. About to go hit the Twisted Sisters. Um, I don't really want to vlog in front of all these people. It makes me super nervous. So I'm just kind of like skim the camera over some of the cars. Um, got my car sitting there getting the oil warmed up. I don't think everyone's waiting on me. They might be. I don't know. We're not going to do the whole run with them. It's like a four hour like circle almost. But we don't have that much time. It's already like what, two in the afternoon? It's like a six and a half hour drive back from here to home. It doesn't include stopping for gas, any animals on the road, food. Um, so I think we're just gonna go like an hour in, an hour back, and then head home. But it should be a good time. I'm trying to get the GoPro set up on the car and whatnot. 
an exciting day. Mm. Look how nice it feels, she says. <laughs> Had some fun with that Evo last night. That's the homie's car. Sexy as hell. A decent amount of people here. Uh, some RPF wands. Ooh, look at that. Seen this on the internet a couple times. You could always paint it. <laughs> Definitely looks like rain. Hopefully there's not much. So much booty. Booty licious. Oh, I like the wheels on that. Ooh, that's nice. Zoom. The zoom button stuff. There we go. That's nice. And my camera's dying. here some some little one horse town on the twisted sisters run my in first gear letting off the throttle now it makes some like really terrible noise one of the dudes said that that's what his DKM clutch sounded like when the throw out bearing was going out hopefully that's not the case I want to find out here in a little bit go roll through the gears and see you know, we're like at least over an hour away from where I left the car and trailer so the throw out bearing is going out hopefully I can make it back one of the dudes gave me a little bit of E85. I didn't realize it was still like an hour, probably over an hour drive to even get to Twisted Sisters from, from there. I wasted a lot of E85. I should have topped it off completely at the one gas station, but I was in a rush. I didn't want people waiting for me. So, but it's so far so good. We got a little time lapse. I'm going to put the GoPro on the front here for this next section and uh, get you guys some noise and maybe get put even put it on the back on the way home, get some clips. So, just hopefully this mount doesn't doesn't fall off. <laughs> Yeah. It's not terrifying though. 